think about needs of notice for human being. TNN. Plenty intuitive. I turned it up quite a bit. Is it better now? You know Nightingale. Hello, how are you? <laughs> We'll see in game. Okay. So this game is really cool. <laughs> you can beat it in like four minutes, but you won't unless you're really, really good at it. So the way it works is uh, your fishing lure can like hook on to, whoa, surfaces, you know walls and ceilings and floors and everything. Uh, and uh, you can let out your line or like reel it in. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'll need it. This game is hard, as, as I know you're aware. I never even noticed the UI, but it is really strange how like close it is to the center of the screen. Okay, I swear there's like a tricky jump you can do here. Oh my god. The enemy hit me. Ah, uh, links are blocked here, Doric Dream. Yeah. I could probably unblock links now, to be honest. It looks like a debug mode, it really does. I love this game. Uh, it took me at least two streams to beat this. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Is this the right speed? Yes. Nope. No, I mean, this is just, if it is, I have no idea how, because I don't think this game has a fast ROM hack. You like that? You like that? Uh, and it's just running on a console, so. I'm trying to grab that, like, curtain because you actually can. It's what's spawning those enemies and you can, like, eat it. I had no idea about this <laughs> until I, like, watched somebody else do it. Don't, don't you want to do this one or something? Uh, this feels like the wrong route. So I'll tell you why this game is technically platformageddon ineligible, which a lot of the games on the list are. Uh, there's two reasons. The enemies respawn infinitely, which I think is kind of like not... I think I've decided is kind of disqualifying um, in and of itself. In addition to that, uh, it is not intuitive, like, learning how to advance in this game. But the thing is, this game rules, so... No, it's, it's if every single enemy respawns. Altazimuth. Like, if you can't actually kill an enemy, all you can do is stun it. Same reason that uh, Toy Story is not eligible. 
Not that I regret playing that, but... Oh dear. I like that that's like clearly a compass, but it kind of looks like the Buster Sword, you know? That's a one up there, that uh, backpack, but I have no memory of how to get it. That would disqualify on like every game from the 8 and 16 bit eras, you know? Hmm, how do you do this? The problem is how do you get back, you know? Like, at this juncture. Not like that. Thank you, Scratching Way. How are you? <laughs> no, don't sneeze. Oh, no, you can't sneeze on Twitch. They'll eat you alive. It's a it's a cruel world on this site. Goodness. Uh, Scratching Way, thank you. Happy Toaster, how dare you? Oh, you're playing. You're playing Noita. Boy, what have you done, Dot? <laughs> Whoop. You, like, never want to be in the position I just put myself in. Where uh, your back is turned to the platform that you want to jump or climb up to. Because you can't uh, grab the ledge like that. There we go. Yafu, how do you think I know that? I don't really recognize these levels. I don't think I took this route first time I played the game. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, <laughs> but I'm in I'm in danger here. All right, we're good actually. Does anyone here just like know all the routes to this game off the top of their head? Like, I don't mind being told. This isn't like a, a blind playthrough. Yeah, the tadpole is actually optional. I don't know anyone who's like, yeah, I love Umihara Kawase specifically for the boss fights. I think everyone agrees they're kind of uh, dumb. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> I was expecting it to go off screen. You have to go to the Shrine of Winter. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if you can just make this like by jumping. Probably not. You probably need to do this. Yeah, there we go. Now what? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I see. 
well, at least there's a door here. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh dear. These things, these enemies are really nasty. Because they're super heavy. <laughs> and the ink does this to you? <laughs> Look at this! Can you not damage the, uh... The octopuses? I feel like it. I feel like you can't. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, Bowler Hat, how are you? So, you probably want to do this, right? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I cannot get hit by that. <laughs> huh. Uh, that seems pretty tricky. There we go. That's what I heard. Oh, is this, uh, yeah, this is the boss. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Isn't it something stupid like this? Like you just wait down here. Well, she's a sushi chef, so. No. So there's some trick to it. Whoops. Jump, please. There we go. Now I've seen everything. So I'm pretty sure if you wait down here, the frogs actually kill you. Let's find out. In its defense, it's not nice to say mean things about people's faces, so. Okay, right? Like, this is where it kills you for trying this? Yeah. <laughs>
I'm pretty sure frogs carry, uh, like, really dangerous. Oh my god. I think I'm screwed now. They have all kinds of, like, really dangerous bacteria all over them. Oh, dear. Oh, that actually worked, though. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Parasites? Oh, I see. You know, uh... Like, it's illegal to sell small turtles as pets these days, right? In the U.S. Did you know this? Do you know why? Uh, salmonella. They are a a really dangerous vector of salmonella. Really? Yo, this is hard. <laughs> no! Here's the thing, I've never beaten a boss in, in this game before. I have in the sequel. Uh, what I'm doing is the strat, I'm pretty sure. The problem is that it gets pretty difficult to um, handle the cycles uh, where it spawns like four turtles. Yes, I did. I think. I did the easiest route, which I believe was also the shortest. chat. I just assumed I made the jump. Whoops. Ozzy, that's a good emote. If <laughs> it's the best of us. Thank you. 
All right. <laughs> Don't make that mistake again. One more cycle after this, but I didn't take one of the frogs out. Yes, I did. Oh, never mind. There's another cycle. Not bad. Fish hates us in this game because uh, she is a sushi chef. It can. You, you really are not supposed to stick around as long as I did. Please. Why would you do this this way? It's probably faster. I'm going to ask a stupid question. Those are eels, right? She's older than the sprite makes her look save state. Is this the... Oh, look at that. I feel like the point of divergence was here, right? Like I didn't... There's like an exit over here that you want to take if you're doing the shortest route. She's 71, yeah. Like, this is the shortest route that I'm on right now, right? Wow. <laughs> Never give up. Damn. This looks familiar. I played this very early into VTubing, Luna. You might be remembering it from this very channel. Or do you mean this looks familiar, so this is probably the, the route? Hey, Heathcliff. Was that a good play? Ah, Eltriok was recent, I see. 14 months ago, that's it? I know I played the sequel recently.
<laughs> that was pretty close. Uh, so what do you do here? Never mind. Don't tell me. <laughs> this game's really fun, so great if you've never played it before. I feel the 11 doesn't seem right, though. Uh, maybe this is correct. Yeah, this is right. I go back to the beginning of the level? Yeah. I kind of forget how this works. You just do these jumps as fast as possible. Oh, I thought it was going to spawn an enemy. Oh, it's, uh, you wait here, right? You need to get into that door, and there's, like, something not super intuitive about how you do that. There's no ceiling there, no. It, it really is just a series of jumps. Yeah, do you remember how it works? Do I just do all the all the jumps as quickly as possible? What would Super Joe do? He's the guy that gets canceled, uh, canceled, that gets um, captured in Bionic Commando. He's not the playable character. I was thinking of, I was thinking it too, Foo. Yeah, you definitely don't need to swing. <laughs> he got canceled. Yeah, but he doesn't have the uh, arm. There we go. I don't remember this level at all. I think this is the correct way, though. Oh. You can hook under what that door? Wow, I can't believe I didn't die for that. This is recoverable. Uh, I think it actually helps to like kick out from the wall a little bit like this. I think that like increases the chances that I'm just gonna. <laughs> hey, Asteroid, how are you? This game is not janky at all. This game is kick-ass. Yeah, I've, I've heard that before. <laughs> How did I do that? All I had to do was hold left. <laughs>
Yeah, there we go. Uh... <laughs> We've got a problem. <laughs> Okay, I figured it out. That's not that bad. If you want to get a big bounce, you just um, let out all the line, wait, and then hold down, and you'll get it. If I recall, this is another section where you, like, basically don't need to use the, the fishing lure at all. <laughs> it's just a series of jumps. Oh, I've said that before. Yeah, isn't that animation sick? Yeah, I kind of recovered. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> the lure dropped. <laughs> Squish that, Umi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Oh. See, this game is godlike. This game is so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, they don't. It's just like pillars. A literal Kamige, yeah, that's true. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's like a strat to not have to deal with that. I think, um, I think I remember it. That is such a common scenario in this. You're just like trying to grab onto anything for dear life. <laughs> and the enemy ends up taking you with it. It's just this, isn't it? Yeah. Simple. Hey, soul stuff. Have you seen this before? All right, this is the part that I don't remember at all. This is another boss level. <laughs> Your stomach hurts. I don't think I can do anything about that. Oh dear. So there's like a big problem here, which is that you can get into this door. I think this is the wrong door. <laughs> so I might have just made a big mistake. <laughs> Debatable. Uh, all right, so it's something like you grab on to this platform to drag it down.
Hey, 24 whole minutes. Thank you. <laughs> and then, whoop, there we go. And then how do you... This is the part I don't remember. You do this a little bit, get it to start to drift up. <laughs> I Perhaps you see the issue here. The platform needs to raise, like, quite a bit. that I can do that. <laughs> I don't really remember how to... Oh, dear. Hang on. I need... There we go. Is this the wrong route? You know, Nightingale, I think this is the route that I did. Was it not? <laughs> I thought it was. Right, right. That's the problem with the octopodus. Hey, Bromine. Up. Oh, there we go. Starman. Starman, do you remember the route I took through this game? Nah, it's not that. It's not that hard. Bowler, bowler hat. This takes like three seconds to get back here, so. I did hydrate <laughs> in the game. Knock it off, Kojinu. Whoop! There we go. I think... Alright. <laughs> Pretty sure I made it. Well, but not for long. Oh! I swear there's only like one level after this. But you can see how like somebody would could play this forever and ever and like never beat it. <laughs> it's just a tough video game. Mm. I'm looking this up. Uh, Umihara Kawase Routes. <laughs> that sounds awesome.
Yeah, 52 leads to 55, I think. How do you get to 28? Oh, I see. All right, let's see if we can do that. Yes, yeah, see you, Bowler Hat. That other route I was working on was pretty fun, honestly. The one that led to the tadpole boss fight. I want to beat the tadpole boss, like, even if I beat this game using the route that I used before. I don't want to, like, call it a night until I beat the tadpole. Because I managed to live to the last cycle twice. Tadpole arch enemy, yeah. Who does he think he is? Snail. That snail's gonna get me killed. I don't understand how they like nailed it. So, like, so hard with this game. Because it's not like this is like a prolific developer. I think they um, they made like a couple Umihara games and like that's mostly it, right? What? <laughs> what was that doing down there? <laughs> Whoops. Whoa. Don't think so. Whoops. Well, but you know what I mean? Like, usually... There's a lot of games on the Super Famicom that, like, they're fine. But they're missing something, you know? And they're by, like developers that were new at the time. The bird does what? I don't think I noticed that. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> I meant to get the fish. I didn't even notice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you know enemies spawn here? I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I never noticed that. And I streamed it and like everyone was immediately pointing it out. <laughs> A machine translation. Great. This song is so good. Wow. <laughs> that was a little riskier than it needed to be. All right, I, I did way better this time. I can, I just did. There we go. I swear sometimes the ink cycles feel like less forgiving than others. You can't move the squid, can you? You can't kill it. I wonder if I can drop it down that little hole, though. <laughs> the jump's doable. I've done it. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. There we go. Honestly, like that, I feel like all the hardest stuff in these games is, um, uh, it involves that particular maneuver. Swinging along the ceiling, I mean. Whoops. Does anybody remember how to do this? There's a trick to it. Psh. 
Apparently that, but I'm... hell if I know how I did it. There's a one up here, but you really don't want to go for it, if I recall. Can that crush you? I think so. No, I don't. I wasn't remembering correctly. That was totally safe. Okay. So what do you do from here? I think it's a really similar maneuver. Yeah, I had to go right then because I'm out of time. I don't think I've ever actually died to a timeout before. I wonder what it's going to do. Yep, I agree. There's another issue. So here's the thing. Um, you're touching on a, a problem with Platform Again, which is that the rules just are written the way they are. And by following the rules, you, you let in a lot of games that are clearly just like, like the original goal here was to find games that are like Castlevania and Mega Man. Among others, you know, like like games like Contra. And this game is clearly nothing like any of those. Uh, uh, it is worth noting that this game is actually ineligible, but it's not for the reasons that, <laughs> that you're giving, which are totally legit. They're totally uh, defensible reasons. Uh, it is because of the controversial linearity rule. This game is simply not linear enough. I don't think this works, right? Oh! These two are like tele... <laughs> These two are like telepathically linked, I see. I never knew this. <laughs> I always did a much more difficult thing here. Oh my god, look at that! This is a big breakthrough. I tried. Yeah. Whoops. There we go. It's fine. 
I really do think that this part is super hard. Anyway, the reason I'm playing this game in spite of the fact that it's technically ineligible, uh, Umihara Kawase. It is a Super Famicom game. Uh, is because I like it. There have been a lot of technically ineligible games that get played. Uh, usually I discover after the game gets picked. Uh, it is Japan only, but there is essentially no text. Uh, well, it was Japan only until it got re-released on, like, Steam and the Switch and stuff. I think you can find it elsewhere now. Uh... <laughs> Oops. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot there was a PSP version, to be honest with you. Okay. <laughs> Yumi's Odd Odyssey is... That is not what they called it, is it? <laughs> For real? I think letting out the line here is making this harder. I wonder if I can uh, do this with this line length. Yeah, that's much safer. Oh, the 3DS title, huh? Okay. Hey, all right. I need that fish. All right, we're good. I remember having a little difficulty figuring out how to do this part consistently. What I don't remember is whether I found a setup for it. Hey, Abigail. See, it's in this situation that it feels like you need to let out the line, but you still don't. All right, that's all right, I'm fine. Something like this. Yeah, that's it. You just run against the, uh... Oh, you know what? If you let out a ton of line here... Yeah, look at that. Okay, the, the concept doesn't work. <laughs> it was better to do it with a relatively short line length. Lesson learned. We're getting there. The sea is a harsh mistress.
Oh my gosh. Hey, Uno Squid. You're in this game, Uno Squid, if you think about it. You know how I discovered this game? It was really, really popular on the Shmups forum. There was like a thread that was just like non-shmup games that you think shmup players would be into. And everybody was talking about this. People were even talking about speedrunning it, but I I didn't see them use that word for it. They called it time attack or something. Because you know. That's generally what speedrunning is called, like in games. Do you not remember that, Foo? It was a really long time ago. I was on the Shmups forum a really long time ago, so. Why would Shmup players be into Umihara? Just because it's hard. And because an individual run can be really fast if you know what you're doing. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, they love all the fish. <laughs> it reminds them of Darius. No! Oh, dear. <laughs> I really needed for there not to be a snail there. <laughs> For sure, Claire. There's... Okay, can I, can I complain about something? I'm going to complain about something. And I think... Uh, I think that some people are not going to agree with me on this, and that's totally fine. All I'm saying is, it's really weird to me that all shmup players use the word clear to describe beating a game. Because that's something that I think of as like specifically a Japanese thing. It is the English word clear. Hey, Glum Baron. Uh, but that's like a, not that like uncommon a term in Japan. Something strange about seeing like a bunch of native English speakers do this. Uh, also, uh, uh, well, maybe. I mean, I don't know, like, like if you think about it, if you play, like, uh, Japanese rhythm games, like, every time you beat a stage it's or a song, it says clear, you know? Is it sports terminology? It could be, uh, but it, get, it just gets used for all kinds of stuff. Uh, but the, the one that really bothers me is that instead of calling a deathless run of a shmup, a deathless run? You have to call it a no miss. And that is so weird to me. And I've seen some people like Japanese uh, sports terminology, Speedy. Um, I've seen people like really go like go overboard with this. I was like looking at a, a guide to some shmup I was like interested in playing. And it took me a second to figure out that when they said, if you miss, you should do this. What they meant was, if you die, you should do this. Because, <laughs> you know, beating a game without dying is called no missing it, right? So dying must be called missing. And, like, that's really confusing. <laughs> right, yes, you would assume that. <laughs> 
But the, the English word miss is used as a loan word in Japanese to just mean like a mistake. Uh, so again, it's one of those things that like, it's only odd because it's like, wait, <laughs> don't we have like words that we use for this in English. <laughs> this game is unrealistic. There we go. I think that's what it is, yes. The, like, the, the UIs themselves use these terms. Carobit, it's so good. Oh dear. Okay. I missed. <laughs> no, no. You <laughs> taught. That didn't play out like I was expecting. <laughs> this game is so cool, dude. Whoop. Okay. Anyway. Hypothetically, if I start playing a lot more shmups on stream, I'm not going to be using the word miss in that way. <laughs> okay. You know, I wonder if it's a result of there being a lot of, like, ESL people in the shmup scene. I could believe that. Oh dear. Hang on. fish there. <laughs> oh, that was your fish. Well, I found it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Oh, that still doesn't look right. I cannot believe I saved that. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. I'm going to um, walk this back. Oh, this is rough. Oh. <laughs> what do you think they think of your feline gills, huh? Your feline fins, Jordan. Hey, thank you, Bug. How are you? Okay. <laughs> I don't like what you're implying about them. Nice. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa, what are you doing, Dot? You, you forgot the plan. Hey there, I am a fan of Mocha. How are you? Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. That is really consistent. Okay. Now... I feel like I'm still missing something here. This is scary because the fish can spawn up on this platform while you're stunned. There we go. All right, good news. The last level is 40 times harder than that one. Use a bomb, good idea. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't remember how this level works. There's like a whole like route you need to follow. <laughs> Like, first things first, there's a snail that spawns. Oh, right, it's this stuff. Yeah, those, like... That electricity, like, travels down your line and stuns you. <laughs> nice clear, thank you. I really cleared that board. How's it going? You know, I mean, I'm getting to the end of this route, but <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to beat it anytime soon. This is the last level of this route, though. How many mans left? Eight mans. Oh. Yeah, this is the last board. Yeah, it's a really long game.
There are minnows in the water. Oh. Hmm. So let's think about ways we can like normalize the position here. No. I was like, is there any benefit to grabbing onto like the left side? There isn't. Because you can't swing off the screen, so. I think there's a way to kill this thing, but that's not it. <laughs> oh, okay. I kind of understand that. Yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty proud of myself for that, <laughs> to be honest. Can't win them all, though. I'm curious. Nope. <laughs> well... I think that'll work. I'm not sure it's any easier than, you know, not doing it, but here we go. I've already beaten this sneaker nets on stream. How's the gaming? Uh, you know, it's fine. This is a very difficult game, so I could be doing worse at it. I kind of wondered if you were doing a getting over it joke. I wasn't sure what your angle was, but that did occur to me. Okay. So can this be done? Like... Ooh. God. Some people do. Okay. I swear, yeah. What? It's so weird how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's come up a few times. There we go. So do you suppose I can just slingshot from here all the way over there? I really want to try. I don't think that's a good idea. I should be able to do it, honestly. I'm going to try it again. Oh. 
Yes. It's possible. It's very difficult. It's probably too difficult, but I'm I want to know. Cuz here's the thing, it's not like the rest of the level is easier. This is the easiest part. <laughs> Found footage. <laughs> That's good. That's an interesting thought, is that... Is the HUD deliberately evocative of, like, a camcorder? <laughs> you know? I mean, it's not, but... Could be. Almost. Dude, I don't know if I'm beating this tonight. <laughs> this game is so hard. That is the last level, though. The Blair Fish Project. <laughs> oh. It helps that I've beaten it before. That can give you a certain degree of confidence, you know? Uh, I mean, it it has... Um, it lets you record replays of your own gameplay. It doesn't, like, come with expert demos, I'm pretty sure. If that's what you were getting at. What? Eels! Oh, does it really not? <laughs> I knew that. I didn't know that. Staff ghost. I just saw that and like truly understood it. I don't think I've gotten through. I don't think I've gotten a no miss on uh, a no miss clear on this this stage ride yet, have I? You ever heard anyone refer to the stages as stage rides? I don't know where that comes from. Like the ride as opposed to the boss. There was like one person who did who did this. Does anybody who was on <laughs> the Schmups forum remember this? Probably not. This is me outing myself as an extreme an extremely long time member of the Schmups forum. Oh. Yet somehow, when people referred to it as the farm, I had no idea what they were talking about. This rack seems difficult. Shmups. Shoot em ups. Lots of people call it the farm. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's shorthand for this specific forum.
Yeah, I know I didn't participate much either. Okay. <laughs> this is super dangerous. Five of them, huh? Is this a precision platformer? Uh, I mean, I feel like the answer to that is no, but also I bet you anything, a lot of precision platformer devs were inspired by this game. Oh my God. Yeah, did you accidentally hit up <laughs> Sepisai and like repeat a message? No, the, oh my God, the, a lot of weird stuff happens on the shmups forum. No, I didn't mean to bounce so much. Hey there, Kilta. happened there. <laughs> By the way, there's a strat that basically skips this entire level. What I've heard is that as time has gone on, there are more like well-adjusted people in the shmups forum than there ever were in the past. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of people growing up and realizing like, yeah, okay, it's not always great to put just so much value on video games. Hey there, Tanya. No, precision platformers are like Meat Boy and stuff. Dust Force. Bet you haven't thought about Dust Force in a while. Oh my God, I hate this situation. Meat Force, yeah. Meat Force is like the that genre's version of Metroidvania. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Celeste, I think, is another precision platformer. Have I ever played Bro Force? Nah. Dude! That, that's because I fell in the water that I did that. Hmm. Uh, I made a huge mistake. Never mind. We're good. Go. Okay. We're fine. We're fine, we're fine. For now.
This part. This part is so tough. Like, I don't understand why that wasn't working. There's some, like, rule to how you reel this thing in that I don't understand. We need to wait a long time for that snail. Ooh. So, I do not understand this part. That's a safe, that's a much safer place for it. So, as you can see, there's another one of those, like, whatever this thing is that creates electricity. I might have to pull in the line to, like, speed up a little bit so you can see it. Oh. God. Hey, thank you. Ultimate Rio no Mac the Knife. Thank you. <laughs> that anemone. Sure, but I had to say the whole name once. Whoops. <laughs> uh, oh, that's electricity. <laughs> I really threw that one away, dude. I wouldn't say owned. It's like difficult to tell where exactly it's going to aim the the ball. I kind of wonder if it just aims straight for you so you want to stand close to it so you can back up. That ended it at 420. <laughs> that whole sequence. <laughs> uh.
Oh. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Cleared that anemone, which now I know it's an anemone in that exact way. <laughs> but it's always really funny when it happens. Hey, I ate your pies trying to save it. You never know. He might actually... <laughs> he might actually have enough clout. Because I went and I... Not only did I vote on the moments thing, I wrote a comment, and I was... Oh! <laughs> Who put that there? <laughs> I was like, uh... I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think a lot of the people who were in the moments beta didn't even realize they were. <laughs> there we go. I should be able to just go on this next cycle. I'm getting a little better at that. I think you just want to be on the left edge of the platform. It was after I got killed by that snail that I was like, oh yeah, I killed that snail. <laughs> I remember this now. This doesn't have a... Oh, <gasps> it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, the moments... The launch of the moments beta was really quiet. Uh... And it, they never super, like, they never made it super clear, like, what they were for. And, you know, the thing about streaming on Twitch is you get a new notification every couple weeks. Like, hey, we came up with some new feature that'll allow you to engage with your community. And it's like, huh, engage with my community, huh? That's what they say. That's what, <laughs> that's how Twitch sells every new feature. So I think a lot of people like got the push notification and just went whatever and clicked through it. Not realizing that moments are actually sick as hell. <laughs> I didn't even know I had moments until drops started using them. I was like, fuck, I wish I had moments. And then I checked and uh, oh, I do. <laughs> right, yeah, they should account for that. Uh, a friend of mine was suggesting that uh, what's going on with moments is there was a specific person at the company who was advocating for it and they're, they left so they just want to remove the feature uh, and now that's happening to Wang Man uh, which I would hope that if there was just an overwhelmingly negative response to the features removal they would listen to that um i think twitch has been like a little more uh receptive or responsive i should say the feedback than uh some people think but for moments specifically i'm kind of not holding my breath which sucks because i love them but So you mark when something happens, you type the slash moment command in chat and everybody who was there for the moment gets a, a new tier on their moments badge. They may need to be followers also. I, I've never been clear on that part of it. Uh, and... And that's, that's the extent of it. It also creates a clip of the moment, which is an aspect of the feature that, again, a lot of people don't actually know. And, like, it's not a good part of it because, you know, Twitch has, like, that clip editor that gives you, like, editing capabilities and everything. You don't get to access that for moments clips.
Whoa, look at that dodge. Wait. <laughs> he got me. Sarzak, how are you? <laughs> oh, no. Look at this. Hey, thank you. What were you up to? Thanks for the shout out, mods. I feel good about that, that jump. Oh, nice. I never, I never did anything but Jonathan and Charlotte. Pretty slick stage. There's a poppin' music song that kind of sounds like this. It's called like UK Pop 80s or something. You know, like almost, almost every, uh, pop and music song. I don't know the title. I know the uh, the genre. And this is one where I don't remember the genre, but the title is like We Get It Together or something. Anybody remember this song? It was the hardest song I ever beat. I did that on... What's the pop difficulty called in pop and music? Is it EX or something? Anyway, you might not remember the song I'm talking about because I almost want to say it was console exclusive. What would a dot video game not have in it? Um, visible checkpoints. Yeah, that one can squish you. I remember this. Dot Vania has been made. It's a ROM hack. Snake Man and Loragami made it for my birthday. Anybody remember this? This is my first birthday after I started VTubing. I got started at a young age, what can I say? Okay. Oh, you know what? I think so. Anyway, Sarzak, I hope you had fun. Whoop. Oh, that was closer than it might have looked. Not as close as that, though. How's this going? Uh, you know... It's a pretty hard game. <laughs> so, this is the last level of this route. I've gotten to it, I think this is the fourth time. Uh... You know what, Sheriff? 
I find that extremely easy to believe. Oh my god. What happened there? Um, the uh, the little shocks that the uh, anemone sends out. If you don't let go of the line pretty quickly, um, they go through the fishing line and uh, shock you. Like, I don't understand what you're supposed to do in that situation. It really is random, huh? Uh, where it fires the ball, I mean. Whoops. Hey, thank you, Cole. How are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, well... At least it went that way. Mm. I thought I had this figured out, but... There's more randomness to the, uh, the orbs <laughs> than I realized. Oh, interesting. I think this is safe. I might be stunlocked, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Like, I don't understand. What do you have to do to pull this thing? Like, why did that work when nothing else worked? I think you need to, like, build a certain amount of, like, uh, I don't know, drag? Like, I don't know how, what the word is, but... Uh, tension. You need a certain amount of tension on the line, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, it would be a function of, if not your momentum, the momentum you would be going without the... Whoa. So, this part is rough. Strongity, that's it. You can, it doesn't work on that thing. <laughs> it works on every other enemy. All right, we're doing this the hard way. Too bad. Sorry, I was I was scratching my elbow, if you must know. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> this makes no sense.
It's a function of the length of the line. Really, you've got... I'm not sure about that because on my screen, you've got a moment right now. I think when I'm reeling this in, it's like unintended. I think what you're intended to do is this. And if you ever defeat it in another way, then like that's a bug or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking it too, actually. <laughs> but I was like, man, I'm I'm not going to look that bright if it turns out a sea anemone is not a crustacean, so I'm just going to not say it. <laughs> oh, it's a different moment, I see. That's weird because I ha I always I have custom badges disabled at all times. And I always get a moment. <laughs> this is another thing about the feature, though. It's in beta, right? So... Oops. You know what? I should have let that live, actually. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, Hammer and Harry was fun. Uh, it takes more than one moment to jump a tier. That's why we're talking about it, Critic. Oh, no. <gasps> Look. Oh, never mind. I thought I, like, dragged it to the ledge. <laughs> There what? <laughs> Would I have known this if I had played Sim Earth? I feel like I should take this uh, snail out. I think that's safer than trying to swing around it. Mods can't do moments because... Uh, you only get five per month, but I think people with the editor permission can, which has led some people to believe that mods can do moments, which I believe is not true. But again, everything about the feature is like sort of confusing because it just is. So can I do anything about this anemone, right? That's my question. I gotta go. Well, that wasn't the right play. 
Like, yeah, you get five per month. Oh, it would be nice to get rid of that thing. Have a good night, Kojinu. Yeah, thank you, Tetrahedra. Sorry, I can only answer questions related to moments. Can someone do me a favor? Can you look up a video of like a good player doing this uh, route? And tell me what they do about the final anemone? Normally I don't like doing that sort of thing, but the thing is I've beaten this game before. Uh, so there's less like discovery, frankly. Final Anemone. Is that a real user? Or did you just register that? There are other final stages behind that. Besides that one, yes. That's not the, the only route that ends in that stage, though. Doing the jump, I tried to skip it. Interesting. So, <laughs> thank you, Bridgewater. Uh, so, like, what... Which anemone? Are they skipping the first one? Because I'll tell you how I did this before. I did it the way I'm doing it now. <laughs> and I left that second anemone, anemone alive. This is what I remember. It might not be true. Uh, memory is a, a fallible thing after all. Oh. Uh, I hate when this happens. You kind of have to go down here. With a long jump to the left wall. Do you know if it aggros the second anemone if you do that? You'll know if it's aggroed because uh, there will be little, like, electric shocks traveling up the line every once in a while. Hey, Chris, how are you? I forget, Chris, have you done this one yet? Interesting, so that might be the way to go. It's probably a super precise jump, though. Right, yeah, that would make sense. It thoroughly defeated you. It's a hard game. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> I feel like you just wanted to say super play, but that is what we're doing. But my concern is if it's like a speed run. I wonder if that's like a super difficult strat <laughs> that I can't believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Whoop, whoop. Not that time, though.
Does it really? I could see that. It's not something I can feel as I play, but... I'm on a seahorse diet. I see horse, I diet. Kind of overdid it there. <laughs> there we go. That's not Miku. Mouse over the emote, why don't you? Maybe you'll get your answer. There we go. <laughs> go to the channel, you smartass. <laughs> Whoa, I did it. Oh, dear. That's fine. I wouldn't be surprised if Seahorse would be fine with that. <laughs> that misunderstanding, foo. <laughs> I cannot believe this strat was, was here the whole time. And I was doing it that other way. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I just want to point out that ink didn't even go that far the previous cycle. That was part of why I did that. I cannot believe I missed that jump. I mean, I kind of can. The jumps are a little awkward in this, but... Anyway, no one knows the pop and music song I, I was talking about. No one can back me up on it kind of sounding like this. Whoops. We get it together. Normally you look up genre names though. And it's like UK pop 80s or something, which it doesn't sound like 80s UK pop, but that's fine. Huh. 
Thank you, Adam. Have a good one. All right, that was pretty close, but oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, the game can kill you for running into this octopus. It just spawns a fish on the same platform like that. And you just die. Okay, so the jump that they do, how do they do it? They do it from like here? Oh, that was it. I just uh, aimed the lure in the wrong direction. Like left would have worked. I'm pretty sure that was the hardest poppin' song I ever beat. Do you have a um, any idea of when they might be releasing the button? Okay. So this is... This gets dangerous. Uh... Okay. Damn, I don't really understand how to do this final part. Like, I've done it before. <laughs> I'm afraid the answer is something kind of scary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I knew exactly what that sound meant. Whoa, fuck, I forgot how the game works. I... I went for the diagonal. I promise you I went for the diagonal. I missed it. I hit up first. <laughs> 
That one wasn't so good. <laughs> that one wasn't so good. There's probably a way to do that, Foo. Nah, this game's pretty tough. Like, I've seen people stream it, like, several streams in a row and not win. It's my experience that this game tends to appeal to people who don't necessarily need to win games. They're just playing them to have fun or people who are super good at games. And in my experience, often people who get really good at games are kind of like that, where they're not playing stuff with the intent to beat it. They're just having fun with it. Because they don't get tilted by, you know, not meeting their goal. The Goku effect. I was thinking like the Arcus effect or the Nest Cardinality effect or something. I was tinted when I played uh, Metal Gear Solid. Okay, that was a really weird place for an eel spawn. The beautiful thing about video games is you can say something like that was a really weird place for an eel spawn and have a room of a hundred people instantly understand what you meant. Yeah, I did. Um, I did go purple for plock. True, yeah, if you're raising marine life. Does anybody remember the really cool strat for this level? You slingshot to the left and just go straight to the door. Damn. I knew better than to do that. into the door.
Okay, it's fine. I'm surprised how much of this I remembered, you know, to be honest. Because I've played this game before, and a lot of this is old muscle memory coming back to me. Because it took me more than one stream to beat this. Okay. Should be fine. Close. Don't want to get crushed. Whoops. <laughs> I had it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're waiting for these two cycles to coincide. That's actually good enough. Thought that might happen. So fine. Hey, that's, that's funny. Oh dear, it's all messed up now. I knew it! <laughs> Why did I go? I knew that wouldn't work. Yes. She's named after a, like a saying about like how to prep fish or something. Okay. Ah. That those fish spawns are pretty nasty. Nope. I. <laughs> That's not the direction I hit at all. <laughs> I wonder how I did that. Because it is the direction I hit. It's not the one I intended to hit, though. <laughs> what it is. Oh my god. <laughs> hey NST, how are you? Surprised that still works. 
Oh, I need more line. There we go. I, that threw me off. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Arborelia, thanks for the raid. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing this. Oh dear. Hey, what were you up to? There we go. <laughs> nice. Glad to hear it. Hey, thanks, Anonymous. All right, have a good one. I missed the diagonal. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to miss a diagonal on an 8-bit Do SN30? <laughs> that takes some real talent. Metroid Planets, what's that? Dude. And now we got that going on. Maker Randomizer, okay. Hey, thanks for the follow. Whoop. Okay, this could work. It didn't, <laughs> but it could have. Interesting. That got the, that aggroed the anemone, I'm sure. Well, that definitely did. How did I miss the wall? Thank you. Really, yeah, I... So we had Metroid 1 when I was little, uh, and I did like it uh, a decent amount, but... Yeah, <laughs> have you not seen this one before? <laughs> this game is sick. It's like definitely not the kind of game that Platformageddon was designed or, or meant to uh, meant to be about. And strictly speaking, it's not like a Platformageddon eligible game, but I don't care. <laughs> so I'm playing it anyway. <laughs> It's, oh, she's definitely an Iga ninja. She's a Kunoichi, to be exact. Great question. I don't understand. I need to look up a video of somebody doing this. I know this is very unlike me to look up a video, but in my defense, I've actually beaten this game before. I've beaten this route of this game. Uh, I'm gonna look up my own video if it's on YouTube. <laughs> so I feel like it's okay. Umihara. I can't. <laughs> All right, hang on, shut up. Uh, I don't think this highlight includes me beating the game. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Well, that's a problem. Well, that doesn't help. Umihara kawase. Uh, super Famicom. All right, there's a lot of like tool assisted long plays. I'm gonna see about speed run. I don't want to look up a speed run because frankly, the strats that they're gonna use on a speed run are almost certainly uh, way too hard, but. Oh, uh, this doesn't even do the same final stage. Um. Shoot. Uh, Leah Bell, are you still here? <laughs> Do you still have that video you were looking at? Do I know the stage number? Uh, yeah, I guess links are blocked here. I have a, I have a, <laughs> you're not on my discord, are you? This is 55. Oh, uh, subs don't do it, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, anonymous gifter. That won't get Otto Leabelle around, around the, uh, Oh yeah, whisper it to a mod, that's a thought. It's just a little difficult to predict. There we go. Uh, hang on, maybe if I... All right, thank you. Thank you both. Uh, boy, I hope I remember to keep holding Y when I unpause. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I remember the Game Center CX episode too. That's the first episode that Inoko Max is on. Okay. It looks it looks very hard. <laughs> Got it. GG. <coughs> God, what a great game this is. I would love to do the other routes. I really would, but... Uh, Platform Ageddon is, like, not a good format for, like, 
exploring games and taking my time is what I've noticed. So I'm sorry to anyone who wanted to, wanted to watch me do a route I've never done before. But I kind of didn't want to be here until five in the morning <laughs> and then like walk away empty handed anyway. Uh, for those who don't know, for those who don't know, this is one of those Twitch gimmicks where if you win a raffle, you can pick the next game that I uh, play. You should know that you don't get... Uh, yeah, thank you. You have to pick from those five. So if you want to enter the raffle, hit exclamation point raffle. After I review the game, I will be um, pulling the raffle, picking the winner. Uh, hang on, I'm looking at something real quick. This is good timing. <sighs> Gonna be real, there actually there's actually a decent number of uh, names I can't read in these credits. You know, even if you study Japanese a lot, it's it's difficult to remember a lot of name kanji. Is something I've noticed. So I did it. I won. Uh, all right. Great video game. Thank you so much for suggesting that. Uh, now then, here's how it works. Here's how it works. I review all of these immediately after beating them. And, uh, yeah, it's just the same one. And then after the review, we pull the raffle. Yeah, there have been more of those lately. Yeah, this is a powerful lineup. So anyway, game number 86, Umihara Kawase, beaten in one night. Wasn't... I wasn't that... Uh, worried about it, but I knew there was a possibility I wouldn't be able to. It's time to review it. Difficulty is hard. I'm going to come back to that. Uh, so graphics. I'm I'm going to be real. I think this game looks great. Like its style is weird. Uh, I think he might in that game. Be uh, I feel like it's like an eight. It's a good execution uh, of a kind of strange style. Um. Okay, was was it Fu that was saying I wish the color palette changed more often? That's actually the route that I took. There are more colorful levels elsewhere. It does look like a PC game. I had that thought too. Uh, sound? I'm giving this a 10, dude. I think the music is so good. It's like shockingly good. Fun, also a 10. Atmosphere? Hmm. Pretty neat. A nine. Difficulty. Difficulty. Yeah, that's only one of the routes. There are a lot of routes. So. I feel like this is like an eight. What are the nines? There's only like three nines, right? They're metal warriors. Uh, Iron Sword and 53 Stations of the Tokaido. Or no, it's just Metal Warriors and 53 Stations of the Tokaido. Uh, is this a freaking nine? I can't. Okay, so when I rate the difficulty, all right. I'm not trying to speculate how difficult it would be for other people. I'm just saying, how difficult was it for me? And that means that some games, like, I've already beaten them before many times in childhood, so when I play them, they're easy. 
And so they get an easy rating, even though, like, I know objectively, like, Mega Man 1 is not a 1 out of 10. You know what I mean? In difficulty. It's much harder than that. But I don't think that there's a better way to do it. Uh, this one eye just wants to wink tonight. Have you noticed this? I just have a real sense of humor tonight. Um, so... Uh, that tadpole, that tadpole's awesome. I'm going to give it an eight. So the only reason I'm not giving it a higher score than that is this game, I seem to recall, only took me two streams to beat. Metal Warriors took five, for example. So is this the front runner? Uh, that's probably still Mega Man X. Mega Man X was like 10, 10, 10, 10 or something. Uh, honestly, I give it like a five here too. Um, so, it's, so I think we can all agree that this is very much not the sort of game that I was setting out to find when I started Platform Again. Uh, I was looking for, uh, action platformers with a combat uh, emphasis um, like Mega Man, Castlevania, and Contra. Um, this game was originally included because it was technically eligible, but uh, as the series has gone on, uh, it's non-linear structure has uh, thank you both of you proven to be disqualifying uh, I played it anyway because it's one of the best Super Famicom games ever made <laughs> uh This game has the depth <laughs> of an, of the challenge. What is it called? The Challenger Deep. Um, I'm rating it an 8 out of 10 in difficulty based on my first playthrough, uh, which was about two years ago, if the YouTube... Uh, timestamp is to be believed. Um, because it only took me two streams to beat the shortest uh, and almost certainly easiest route. Uh, however, <laughs> if you want to beat Every route of this game, uh, if you want to speed run it, if you want to learn all the trick shots you can do, this is a game with an essentially <laughs> uh, infinitely high, um, like a Doom monster. Skill ceiling. Is it not the easiest one? Okay, well then there you go. I didn't even know that. <laughs> the shortest route. Um, if this game is seriously hard, and I don't... They're infinitely tall. Uh, and I don't recommend <laughs> just throwing yourself at it without looking up a few videos of skilled players for reference unless you have a very specific personality type uh, in which case <laughs> you'll know uh, it's like being the one in the matrix being the one is like being in love uh, I <laughs> I considered 
rating this a 9 out of 10, but it just didn't put up the same kind of fight that, yeah, uh, that 53 stations of the Tokaido or Metal Warriors did. Um, I think everybody owes it to themselves, themselves, to try this game. Uh, it may not be for everyone. <laughs> uh, I think the difficulty uh, might be a bit off-putting. And while I thought this game looked great, I could see being put off by the look as well. Um, for me, <laughs> uh, this game is basically perfect in every way that I personally care about. Uh, this didn't fit in anywhere else, but the music is great too. I am a little sad to be done with this game. Maybe I, I'll uh, come back to it on other streams and get all the routes. There's like another one where you beat a crab boss at the end. And I think it's really hard. Uh, oh no. Well, lucky me. I just, uh, you have, you have got Weezer on your brain, Altazimuth. You know what's weird about that? I had a, a grocery order to pick up from Target, and I was like, I'm listening to we to Pinkerton the whole way there and back. And I got back, and everyone was talking about Weezer, and I was like, how did you guys know? <laughs> anyway, here are, <laughs> here's your selection. I forgot about this lineup. Holy shit, dude, this is great. Uh... We gotta, we gotta pull the raffle. We gotta see what happens. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, a week of Garfield, but did you notice <laughs> the Adventures of Tom Sawyer and that Sylvester and Tweety game is back? So I'm ending the raffle right now. Here we go. Looks like Hickther, it's finally your turn. What's it gonna be? Oh no, why this one? Yeah, this excellent lineup. There are good games here too. I'm not gonna tell you which, one, which ones they are. You can make the right choice. Oh, man. This is the type of selection you want? Okay. <laughs> I'll, like, the next time we have, like, a stinky selection like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes. The next time we have a selection like this, if I don't see you in chat, Jed, I'll try to remember to like ping you on Discord. Like alert. Hell yes. Oh my God. I'm so glad that you picked Garfield. Garfield no Ishukan. A week of Garfield. Guys, if you don't know this game and you're gonna watch me play it, don't look it up. If somehow you're not familiar with this one, this game is really, really bad. This honestly might be so bad that I'm not gonna like give it a, a glowing review. <laughs> Thank you, Terathiel. Oh my God, Platform Again's on Mondays. <laughs> what are we gonna do? 
Oh my god, it'll be the highest rated game on the list. That did basically happen to Transformers Convoy no Nazo. Guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, I'm probably streaming again tomorrow, but I don't have a specific plan. Wednesday is the new project. It's a new thing that's similar to Platform Again, but different. Uh, so this is going to be like a similar a similar format. You might be interested in it, so be sure to show up for that. Uh, I don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow. There's probably something. I may call the day off if nothing like really grabs me. Full disclosure, but the other thing, if I may, uh, there's no ch at the end of Ray's username, right? Yeah, so. Ray and I have a uh, collab at I think 2 p.m. Central or uh, Eastern time. I think I wrote it down wrong in the cycle or the schedule. That's going to be on his channel. Uh, we're going to be playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and neither of us have played it before. So if you want to see that, that's on Thursday, like afternoon. Thursday night, I'm playing Chrono Cross, and that's going to be it for the week. You got to roll a new raffle. You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius. I forgot about rolling a new raffle. <laughs> Let's stop the presses. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, ooh, we have an art missing in here. I think that means that it's going to be the Super Mario Brothers art, but I'm not sure. Um, All right. Toss two. Uh, ooh, we have a lot of missing art. Uh, yeah, we're not going to just play these five forever. I'll tell you what we are going to do, though. We've got... <laughs> That's not Super Mario Brothers. That's the Lawnmower Man and Wolverine Adamantium Rage. Please understand. Um, the first of many CT Special Forces games. I am shocked it took this long for one of them to show up in the raffle. And Little Samson. And DuckTales 2. And the Lawnmower Man. So anyway, uh, that's the next raffle. That's what you're going to vote on after I probably have a great time with a week of Garfield, which I've never played before. <laughs> so it's like an actual big deal, sort of, for me, not for you. So anyway, now, <laughs> that's all I had to say. You know, you know who we have to raid. Voxandra. This channel is intended for mature audiences. She's doing her, um, like, anniversary donathon, And it looks like she's playing Saga Frontier, uh, which is her favorite video game. She's almost done, uh, so go say hi to her. Um, all right, guys, see you tomorrow, or see you Wednesday, or see you Thursday, or never see you again. <laughs> Up to you. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, she's really tired. So, you know, you might want to double check before you put more money in to make the stream go longer. Uh, but I'm sure she'll appreciate the moral support regardless. Uh, yeah, I would, if you want to help her, I would save donations until after the timer hits zero, which is around when I will show up at her place with fast food for her. So, 10 minutes to go on this. She's been streaming for six days straight. All right, guys, have a good one. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks so much.